Hey all, Lou here, Tiny Mountain Houses. Want to show you one of our recent builds. This is actually a custom built unit for a customer. And it's a little Toma Peak. We've extended it from the 18 feet that it normally is to 20. I want to show you the inside of it in a second. We've got a larger bathroom in here, a little bit larger living area as well. Did a few other things I want to point out. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but this, this particular unit is a 2 and 12 uh, fully lofted ceiling as opposed to the shed roof that we do a lot in this particular model or even the, the 10, 12 pitched roof uh, that we do sometimes as well. The other thing that we've done on the outside of this house is replace the standard 24, 39 windows with a 20 by 58 window and we've got five of these windows. You see two of them here, you'll see another two when we get inside. Really, really nice details. Uh, opens up, brings a lot of light in. Uh, I think it turned out really nice. Um, this is standard siding. This is our LP 40-year uh, smart panel. This is what we call a V-groove siding. Um, nice stuff, very durable. We use it as a standard in, in all of our builds. Uh, and of course, you've got many, many options if you choose to do something a little bit different. With that, let's walk inside and take a peek. A couple of tweaks on this particular build that we did, as opposed to the uh, two burner cooktop, we added the four burner uh, propane range, freestanding range, it's 20 inches, uh, and once again, it, it, it's propane. One of the other things that we did um, is added the solid surface countertops. This is a Corian. Lots of colors available. Uh, I want to point out that when we do do Corian, we do the cover that goes over the undermount sink, giving you quite a bit more usable counter space. Uh, now this has our standard pull-out um, single lever faucet, added a nice subway uh, tile backsplash all the way up to the uh, overhead cabinets. And the cabinetry, by the way, is our uh, smooth panel uh, shaker style white, as you can tell. So I want to show you, as always, a uh, drawer bank, um, a fully extended uh, or extendable drawer guides, ball bearing style, really give you the ability to reach all the way back uh, into that drawer bank um, as you need to. Um, 54 inch uh, overhead cabinets uh, were added into this build as an option. Uh, range hood, vents to the outside. We added a 9.1 bottom freezer uh, stainless steel refrigerator to this particular build. The standard is under the counter, 3.1. And one of the other things we did in this house, and I think you can, you can probably see it from here, is, is the uh, tongue and groove pine, and it's got a white wash finish. I, I think it turned out just fantastic. Um, the uh, white painted trim really accentuates uh, um, the, the, the siding or the interior finish of this house very, very well, if I might say. Um, I didn't talk about the door when we were outside. This is our standard slab door. Uh, it has a peephole and outside there's a knocker and you've got a locking knob as well as uh, a lock, a deadbolt in the house as well. If we look over to my left, you'll notice we've got a butcher block uh, eating table here. What's cool about this, it's a Murphy table. I want to show you how easy this actually folds up and down. We've got two swivel supports underneath. Boom and boom and pow. You know, there you're in a storage mode. It opens up this room to do, you know, a lot of different things uh, and, and it gives you the ability or the flexibility, I should say, to just pull this up when you want to use it. Very, very, very easy uh, and very durable, I might add. And I love this finish. This is a, a maple um, butcher block, and we've got lots of selections of different, different types of butcher block that we can use. Um, just let us know what, what, what meets your needs or what you'd like to see. Now, here, we go. here we go again. I want to show you the three windows on the opposite side of the front door. These are three more of these 2058 windows. I think they turned out pretty cool. This build also has a mini split system in it, heating and cooling. And I'm going to flip around and take a look at the other end of the house. And I got a really cool ladder. So I mentioned earlier that we extended this house by two feet. We, we did stretch this by one foot through this living area. 
and we added this really nice seven foot sofa bench. Um, it has huge storage drawers, nice deep area. Um, we added the cushions on here to give you an idea of what it could look like. This is a custom bench that we built for this particular uh, homeowner. The other thing we did is at the end of this area, we added a bank of drawers for additional storage with another butcher block countertop that matches the Murphy table that we did on the opposite end of the, on the house, on the other end of the house. There you go, bank of drawers, lots of storage, great use of space in here. Um, I think it turned out beautifully. I want to talk about this ladder. Now, this is an alternating step ladder. And what's really cool about this, not only the way it looks, in my opinion, uh, but how it functions. Now, this is a stationary ladder. And one of the really nice features of this type of ladder is it, in the middle of the night, when you're tired, you're not thinking about things, it really is a lot simpler to navigate than a typical lean-to ladder or a small step ladder. These alternating steps are really simple to incline and decline. So that, that's one of the, some of the good features about this ladder, you know, aside from the fact that I think it looks really cool. And of course, we can do this in a lot of different finishes. Uh, this is basically a pine uh, with a clear coat finish. But we can do a lot of different things to um, make it fit your particular needs. All right, let's take a look at the bathroom in um, the little Tahoma Peak here. Notice the pocket door we've added, as opposed to the swinging door. Once again, the uh, solid surface countertop here. Uh, we've added the, this is the Castle Peak bathroom uh, that we did in this particular build. And it, it's just such an efficient use of space that we use this bathroom time and time again. You're gonna see the uh, four door uh, linen cabinet, we did add an optional um, separate composting uh, toilet in this build. And as the, we match the tile, uh, the subway tile that we had in the kitchen in here for a good contrast of colors. Um, as you look around and here's our 48 inch two seat fiberglass shower, all one piece. The finishes on the hardware satin nickel. I think it turned out really nice. And as always, you've got your um, exhaust fan that vents to the outside. Uh, we've added two uh, slim light uh, LED can lights in this bathroom for lots of illumination. It turned out beautifully, if I do say so myself. I'm going to show you this loft space up here. I think I mentioned earlier that we had uh, stretched this area. We actually extended the bathroom uh, by a foot to do the uh, Castle Peak bathroom in there. And in turn, it extended this loft area to just past um, eight feet. So we got about eight by eight in here. We've got a queen bed in here. We added the nice privacy wall in here. And I really like the way this turned out with the different woods, uh, the white accent and, and the pine. Uh, lots of room in here. As always, you've got receptacles on every wall. You've got uh, a three-way switch up here to turn the lights on downstairs and off upstairs and lots of uh, sconce lighting to illuminate the entire house. All right, so let's recap this build. Here we have a 20-foot uh, Little Tahoma Peak. We extended the bathroom by a foot, the living area by a foot, added these 20 by 58 windows as opposed to the standard windows, and did this really cool interior whitewash finish. Um, did the awesome uh, alternating step ladder, and then we've got the uh, apartment size refrigerator, the four burner uh, propane uh, range in here, really nice countertops um, using the Corian, white cabs throughout, and I really think this backsplash turned out phenomenal. So here we got a house that's uh, 226 square feet or so. We can do the same thing for you, maybe tweak it a little bit for you, or take a look at one of our many other models. We appreciate you checking us out. Thank you very, very much. Mm -hmm.